Hello, and welcome to my microorganism vi video on euglenas. So where does the euglena live? Well, the euglena lives in watery environments that have organic compound, like plants, such as water lilies, and other organisms, like frogs. So how does it move? Well, the euglena moves using its flagella. Shown here, it has a propeller-like motion, unlike the cilia, which has a back-and-forth beating motion. A flagellum is a whip-like structure that allows the cell to move. They are found in protists, plants, animals, and fungi. How does it get its energy? Well, the euglena gets its energy uses using photosynthesis, like a plant, a heterotroph. It can also be an autotroph because it can be both, so when it doesn't get food, it can just make its own food. So how does it reproduce? Sexually or asexually? Now, the answer is asexually, through cell division splitting itself into two identical DNA pieces. How does it affect other organisms? It can be good for other organisms, or it can be harmful, because it eats other organisms when it's hungry and cannot make its own food. So now we will be discussing its functions and about the euglena itself. So right here, I've drawn another one, and that is the flagellum. That is the nucleus, that is the red eye spot, that is the reservoir, that is a chlorophast, that is the contract fold. Now, the flagella uses a whip-like structure that, that allows the cell to move. The eye spot allows the cell to move towards light or away from light, depending on it. What's the fault? Used for storage. Chlorophast is makes food for the euglena when it can't get its own food. It makes its own food. Contract vacuole uses to regulate the quantity of water in a cell. And the last but not least, nucleus, the most important. It regulates the activities of the cell. Now we will be looking at the other three main cells, the paramecium, amoeba, and volvox. Comparing and contrasting them. So here we have Euglena. This is my Euglena that I unsuccessfully tried to make. I'll put in the light. Um, it did not work out so great. We have the flagellum, the red eye spot, contract vocal. And we have the reservoir, the chlorophast, the nucleus surrounded by other stuff. Contract vacuole, and a lot of other stuff that I decided to put on it. Then we have the paramecium, which has a nucleus, of course, a cilia, an oral growth, anal pore, food vacuoles, cytoplasm, contract vacuole. Then we have the amoeba, the one of the really big. We have the cytoplasm, we have the contract vacuole. We have the cell membrane, the pseudopods, which it moves, then the food vacuoles. So this one moves with pseudopods, this one moves with cilia, and this one moves with flagellum. All different. And last but not least, the biggest, the volvox. You may be able to see it if it's big enough without using a microscope. But it'll be very, very tiny. So we have the cilia, like the paramecium. And then we have daughter colonies, which transform into other volvoxes and are basically let go when they grow older. Kind of like a daughter. That's probably why it's called daughter. So anyways, thank you very much for viewing my Euglena microorganism video and that monster that I've created. But thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.